and welcome to this week's video. In today's video, there's gonna be a ton of cleaning and unpacking motivation. Now that we've arrived to our house in Georgia, the unpacking and getting settled process can begin. The first thing I'm actually gonna do in this kitchen before I start unpacking and putting things away is lining the drawers and the shelves of this kitchen. So this is, I think these cabinets might be original to when the house was built, and this is obviously a rental, so other tenants lived here. And these cabinets have definitely seen some wear and tear. So what I'm gonna do, and I've done this in a lot of my other rentals, is cover this all up. I got this contact paper, actually it's not contact paper, I'm not really sure what you can do, these shelf liners, I guess, at Walmart and I just line everything with them before I put it away and it makes the drawers and the shelves and the cabinets feel like they are nice and clean and new. And then before I can actually unpack anything, I need to clean off these counters. You know what it's like when you move, everything just sort of ends up on the counters in the kitchen and this is no different. So I definitely needed to get them cleared so that I could focus on unpacking. If you're new here, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Samantha. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I truly appreciate you being here. If you don't already know that my family recently made a big move and we relocated from New Jersey down to Georgia. I've been sharing every step of that process along with you guys here on this channel. If you enjoy that kind of content, I hope that you'll subscribe and stick around for all of my other videos I've got coming up. Plus, I am super excited about a ton of DIY and furniture DIY projects that I've got in the works, so stay tuned for that. Oh, and just as an FYI, I am recording this voiceover right now while there is a huge thunderstorm happening outside, so you might hear some thunder in the background. I'm so sorry for that. So I could have sworn when I packed up my kitchen that I sorted through our you know, tools and utensils drawer, but I feel like I didn't because I have so many. So as I'm unpacking this utensils drawer, I'm actually sorting through to try to get rid of anything I have doubles of or anything I really just don't use. Um, you'll see in the end that it's pretty full and I probably need to reorganize it again, but this was just sort of an initial decluttering of that stuff. What you're seeing me unpack here is basically our kitchen essentials. This is all the stuff in the kitchen that I packed into the first pod up in New Jersey because that's the first pod we received down here in Georgia. So I packed a ton of just everyday kitchen stuff. So it's not certainly everything that's going in the kitchen, but it's all the stuff that I packed up initially um, when I packed up the kitchen. So it's a big majority of it and definitely our kitchen essentials. So that's what I'm unpacking here. If you are curious about what the unloading process of the pods look like, I actually have a video coming out that's going to be another pods time lapse of them unpacking it. I didn't get really any footage of the first pod being unloaded, but I did get some pretty good footage of the second and third pods being unloaded, and I am excited to bring that to you next week.
good, look. Green one goes in the box, okay? Green one goes in the box. I'm playing! Yes, you are. What's new? Now you're probably wondering why am I going through all this trouble of folding up all of this paper and the bubble wrap? Well, that's because we do plan on moving again in the future. We're not staying at this rental forever. And I bought all of these, you know, moving supplies and I don't want that money to go to waste and I don't want to have to rebuy all of this. So I am going to try to salvage and save as much as possible. So I made some pretty good progress on these boxes. There's only a few left. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with that kind of stuff. It's more entertaining stuff. Um, these are glasses that really don't fit in a cabinet anywhere, so they're probably going to stay in storage. Um, I made some really good headway yesterday with all the glasses. I unpacked all of our plates and bowls. I still have a lot that I know has got to go in there that I haven't unpacked yet, um, but I've done pretty well. I still have to figure out where my cookbooks are going to go. This is stuff for the pantry. All of this paper I'm going to hang on to for when we move again in a year or so. Same with all of this, so I just gotta finish cleaning all this up. Um, pretty good progress on the kitchen. The rest of the house is a disaster, um, but we're getting our second pod unpacked. Hello! We're getting our second pod unpacked today. <laughs> so we're just gonna kinda stage everything in this room until we get everything unpacked um, and put away. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. This is actually just a really quick video. It's really just the starting point of the unpacking and getting settled process. We still have so much to do. I have my daughter's room. We have our master bedroom, all of our clothes, living room, the mess of the front room, plus everything that's still in the second and third pod needs to come into the house. So I am already exhausted thinking about it. So stay tuned for next week. Like I said, I'll share a quick time lapse of unloading the pods and some more packing to come in the future. I mean, unpacking, sorry, more unpacking. <laughs>